Geostrophic flow is an important concept for understanding weather patterns, including the formation of cyclones, which builds upon concepts introduced in prior videos. Geostrophic flow results when the forces acting upon the movement of air, or water, are in balance, such as when air is induced by a pressure gradient but then comes into balance with the Coriolis effect. If we look at the contour map of pressure from the pressure gradient video, we would expect wind to blow directly from the high pressure region down to the low pressure region. However, since the Coriolis effect acts upon this wind and the US is in the northern hemisphere, the wind turns to the right. And as this wind moves in its new direction along the isobars, the force from the pressure gradient pulls it to the left, while the Coriolis force pulls it to the right, and the resulting flow is in geostrophic balance. These flows can occur in the atmosphere, referred to as geostrophic winds, or they can occur in the ocean, referred to as geostrophic currents. In the northern hemisphere, these flows move counterclockwise around low pressure centers, known as cyclonic circulation, whereas they move clockwise around high pressure centers, and this flow is anticyclonic. Since our perspective relative to Earth's axis of rotation is reversed in the southern hemisphere, cyclonic flow is clockwise, while anticyclonic flow is counterclockwise. Regardless of the hemisphere, if there is a very sharp pressure gradient, a cyclone can form around the low pressure center, also known as a tornado, hurricane, or typhoon. Hopefully that overview was easy to understand, and in the next video I'll have to talk about the different types of wind or perhaps ocean currents, so make sure you subscribe to the channel for more great content that connects you with the science and the concepts behind it.